I now give the floor to His Excellency Retno Lestari Priyansari Marsudi, Minister for Foreign Affairs of Indonesia. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mr. President, many leaders have spoken here over the past few days. We share the same concern. The current state of our world is very worrying. The pandemic persists and global economy remains sluggish. War among nations is no longer a possibility, but has become a reality. Violation of international law has become a norm in pursuit of narrow self-interest. Crisis after crisis is unfolding around the world. Climate change, rising inflation, food and energy shortages. Mr. President, history teaches us this phenomena might lead to a huge war. Let us look at the period leading up to Second World War, the Great Depression, rise of ultranationalism, competition over resources, and rivalry between major powers. These are very similar to what we are facing today. Clearly, we have been handling these challenges the wrong way. We have been divided instead of united. We have been working individually instead of collectively. We have been focusing on words instead of deeds. The question now, what are we going to do about it? Are we going to continue the same path? Or are we going to choose a different path? If we continue the same path, we will be heading toward a disaster. But if we choose a different path, we must stand a chance. So today, I would like to offer you a world based on a new paradigm. A paradigm of win-win, not zero-sum. A paradigm of engagement, not of containment. A paradigm of collaboration, not of competition. Habit of dialogue and cooperation would nurture strategic trust. These are the rules of the game that we must maintain if we truly want peace. It is our responsibility to apply them consistently, not selectively or only when we see fit. My president confided these messages of peace in his visit to Kiev and Moscow last June. We must also apply this new paradigm to make a breakthrough in Palestine and Afghanistan. It is no longer time to talk the talk. Now is the time to walk the talk. I thank you very much. I thank the Minister for Foreign Affairs of Indonesia.